And this is the master bathroom. Oh, nice. Two and a half half. Mm-hmm. Of 3,138 square feet. Mm-hmm. Stainless steel. Appliances, new carpet, new carpet, hardwood floor. Wow, that sounds amazing. It's in your neighborhood, right? Yep. Do you want me to buy a house in your neighborhood? <laughs> so I've been grinding all morning, and now I have a... I have an interview at 1210 with a trainer. If you guys don't know, I'm putting together a personal training uh, entity across the street. Hi. Excuse me. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? If you guys don't know, I'm putting together a personal training program at the gym downtown, and I'm hiring personal trainers right now. So if you are in the area and you're looking for somewhere to work, hit me up, bricksfitness at gmail.com. Uh, after after the interview, I have to do uh, the core class. After the interview is the core class. Yeah. What's up, man? It's time for core class. Why did I just make that face? And now I'm about to go home and eat breakfast and then I'm gonna come back to the gym and work out I want to start a strength segment. I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that later But uh, I'll talk to you guys about The part of my cut that I hate the most I'll check in with y'all at the crib What's up guys? I figured this would be more efficient and easier to do with a commentary. Just want to explain to you guys where I'm at right now in my personal fitness journey. So as you guys know, I'm in the middle of a cut, right? Shout out to everybody following the Thought Season series, Shred. I normally can get pretty lean without tracking any macros. I've been doing this for so long that I pretty much can eyeball things. But I get to a point in my cut where I have to start tracking macros and I'm not even going to lie to you and I tell all my clients, I don't know my clients are listening to this right now and I should tell you guys as well. It's very, very, very important to track your food, but personally, I cannot stand it. It's very draining on my prefrontal cortex and I honestly think it takes away from my productivity for the day, like non-fitness wise. But it's impossible for me to get down past a certain body fat percentage, essentially playing a guessing game, because that's what I do when I don't track my macros during the cut. So this is the part I hate. I'm going to be tracking macros. I got to weigh everything. I got to measure everything. But you know what? That's the sacrifice I have to make in order to, to get lean as I want to get. Uh, shout out to everybody who tracks their food religiously. I know it's a sacrifice. I know it's a headache, but it's worth it. And if your goal is to just lose weight, you won't have to do it for long because eventually, like I said, you'll be able to eyeball your food and you won't have to go through the trouble of tracking every single thing you eat. But shout out to everybody on the ground. I'm going to uh, end the commentary right here, guys. Thanks for watching. Super productive day. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling way more productive and, and efficient. I made some adjustments to, to just how I lived my life through some, through some tips that I learned in some books. Maybe I'll do a separate video on this stuff. But anyway, um, I'm here at the gym. I'm about to do a full body workout. I want to start a strength program soon. Me personally, I honestly don't care about strength. I'm not an ego lifter. I don't really care about being able to go in the gym and, and look like he-man. I really don't. But I'm going I'm to do my first bulk this fall. And I kind of just want to get my strength up a little bit. I usually lose strength when I cut because I drop my weight. And that's just a byproduct of it. You don't have to. I honestly suggest people live heavy when they're trying to lose body fat. Just for that reason. You don't, you don't want to lose strength. But I want to do some more research because from what I know, too much heavy lifting will break your body down. Which is why I really don't lift heavy that often. 
but I do, uh, I, I know the importance of having a strong body. So I'm about to do a strength program, but I'm not starting that yet. I'm doing some more research on that. I'm gonna put that program together. Um, I, I'm gonna get some help on that because obviously that's not my area of expertise. Um, but today, full body workout, the, the details for this workout will be in the description below. Shout out to everybody who entered the Jumpstart competition. It is now closed. I have so many submissions. I'm so excited about it, guys. Make sure you're keeping me posted on everything. Make sure you guys submit your after photos on time. It is 90 days after you submitted your photo is when your photo is due. Failure to do that will disqualify you from the competition. Anyway, let's get this full body workout started. Today's workout is predominantly upper body. Throwing a little bit of legs at the end. Uh, this is uh, me warming up with my jump rope like I love to do every single day. I went right into my push-ups. I did a super set of 20 push-ups and 10 hanging knee raises. Now these hanging knee raises, all right, yeah, there we go. The hanging knee raises have become one of my staple exercises. I try to do these at least two or three times a week. It works with uh, my core. And if you're a little bit more advanced, as you can see, I do a little bit of hip twist to incorporate the upper abs. Uh, but this has helped me with my grip strength and my core strength, of course. This is a narrow grip cable row. I try to vary my grip. Sometimes I'll do wide, sometimes I do narrow. Make sure that you're switching it up. Make sure that you're focusing on the eccentric part, which is the forward motion. That's honestly where all the gains are. All right, so I'll go right into a cable curl. This is similar to a hammer curl. Again, focusing more on the eccentric, slow and control. Now, towards the end, is it coming up yet? You'll see I'll cheat a little bit. Now, here's my theory about cheating. The last few reps, right? As long as you're doing it in a way where you're not compromising uh, injury, then I say squeeze out those last two or three reps using some not so good form. It is what it is. Do whatever you gotta do to get them gains. Just don't hurt yourself. Now, when I'm doing my tricep pull downs, I try my best to keep my elbow stationary. And when you get to the bottom of the pull down, you wanna make sure that you're extending all the way out. Make sure that you're activating your tricep. Do like a little squeeze out. I don't know how to explain that better than that, but as you can see, like when I get to the bottom, I'll squeeze a little bit. Make sure you're squeezing, man. That's where, that's where the money is at. On to my incline bench press. As you can see, not a tremendous amount of weight. Making sure I'm controlling my weight. Slow and control. Slow and control. Burn that into your brain. Focusing on the eccentric part. I love doing bench presses. Comment below if you love bench pressing. On to my machine shrug. I try to hold it up there at the top for about a second and a half. Make sure I'm getting that working. Get them traps popping. This exercise right here is what have you looking like a beast and your wife beater. And I finished off, well, this is the second to last exercise. I'm doing a front squat. And again, make sure that you're initiating the movement through your hips. Be mindful of how your knees are tracking. Uh, you wanna try to get good foot positioning. Again, feel it out. There's no perfect form. There's no one size fits all with a squat. Just make sure that you're not injuring yourself. So I finished my workout with these one arm dumbbell snatches and they absolutely annihilated me. I was so tired, so, so tired. This is a, basically a full body movement. You use your hips, your legs, your core, your shoulders, your back, everything. Try some of these, man. They'll kick your ass. All right, my workout is complete. Do me a favor, because I'm gonna end the video right now. Comment below whether you like the vlogs a little bit longer, maybe 15, 17 minutes, or would you rather them short, like seven, eight minutes? Comment below, let me, let me know, because at the end of the day, I make this content for you guys, so if you don't like it, what's the point? Anyway, shout out to the Brick Squad, I love y'all. Make sure y'all please hit the big thumbs up button. Again, that workout is in the description below. Make sure you spread the channel. Share the channel with your friends. Share the channel, yeah. Share the channel with your friends. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well, get money.